Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Remake. I just escaped Nemesis for the second time now, and Carlo, I finally met up with Carlos. But guys, if you've been enjoying this series or any of our other playthroughs, hit that subscribe button and keep up to date with all our other playthroughs and videos. Guys, let's get to it. Alright, Carlos, here we are. Man, she is injured. Can, can we heal? Oh my goodness, we got nothing to heal with. Crazy. Lunacy. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, now you'll be safe. God, we were just here too. Before Jill decided to sacrifice herself. What about you? God. The sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. That's awfully noble of you, Mr. Carlos. Granted, uh, Jill did pull off a ballsy move earlier. Just gonna watch me go downstairs. All right, fair enough. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway is about to leave. Carlos Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not going to die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go. Hmm. You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> Oh jeez. There's just no stopping this guy. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. Nikolai! How am I God, that was epic. <laughs> well, guys, another epic introduction to this episode. <laughs> Dang. Ooh. Oh, it's been a while. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, but she's not like that. Well, she's not like anybody. <laughs> Keep your head screwed on, Romeo. Oh, snap. Police station. 
Are you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Ooh, we're playing as Carlos now. Like I said, guys, that was an epic freaking introduction. Jill crashing the train. Holy crap. What is this all about? Do I have an objective? Find Dr. Bard. That's it. And he's got the basics, but he's got an AR, which is nice. Um, and no other items. So that's fun. Come on, man. Not you, too. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no. Dude, it's Marvin. Shit, it's locked. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Come get some. Man. That guy took quite a few bullets. Brad. Aw. He's stuck. That could be useful. Dude, this is where Martin was. Because this is where the stories cross. That's how he got bit. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. This is so weird. Intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Alright, save the game. Do a new save if we can. Dude, this is cool. This is where the game crosses over between our Resident Evil 2 and this one, Resident Evil 3. Although, um, looks like Claire and uh, Leon haven't been here yet. Because we just saw Marvin get bit, which we don't discover till after our characters meet him for the first time in the station, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, find Dr. Bard, go to the star's office. What's what we got here? ID card security protocols. September 16th, 1998. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. Oh, can we use this? Heck yeah. Oh, we get rounds. Ooh, assault rifle rounds. Cha-ching. Now, oh, we still have the card. That'll be useful for sure. Oh, this is so weird. Coming through here at a different time period, like literally a little before. Oh, interesting. Oh, what the hell was that? Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool. I mean, the crossover thing. See, there's the guy that that Leon meets at the beginning. Couldn't have been a zombie. Oh man, 
Yep, it won't let me interact with him. It's a little different. Uh, same with that guy. That's a non-usable door. Ah, uh, I've played so much of Resident Evil 2 that it's like I... It's like weird that I can't access certain spots. Then stick around. This is crazy. Uh, here we go. Uh, be a little more accurate with the pistol. I'll use rounds when I get overwhelmed. Oh, my Lanta. It's one of them damn liquors. God, they're just flying in here randomly. Oh, you got an interesting facial animation going on there. Oh dear lord! Oh, that guy caught me off guard, my god. Whew. Oh man, yeah, stay down. Oh man. I don't want to use this, but I guess I will. Big warm RPD welcome. Okay, there's something right over there. Oh, weird, yeah. Oh, this is weird to see this place before RE2. See, there's nothing there to climb up into there. That CTV or whatever is on. There's no notes on here that I can see. We got a flash grenade. Yeah, you never know. I feel like I still want to use the pistol. Minimize how many bullets I use. Um... Okay, the star's office is upstairs, so we got to work our way around. I need to go through here, up here, and get to the stairs. It's weird seeing a liquor this early in the game. Sweet. Looks like I'm in it. Locker room, CAP. Copy. There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Yeah, I'll watch my six. Okay, this cuts into the hallway. Is there anything this way real quick? Nope, that's a heart-shaped key. Ooh, that was a burster. <laughs> we are filling this little hallway quite well. Oh, wow, I just unloaded all my bullets. Dang it. Okay, switching to the AR. God, the crooked head look, man, is just messy. Oh dear me! Oh God. You are silent! You naughty boy, you! Jeez. Good thing I've got a handful of rounds here. Yep, might need that. Health is fine. I will wait. I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, someone else is getting up. There you go. Did I just come from here? Yes, I did. I came from there. Just checking all the corners. You never know. Especially with those new collectibles. Those new Charlie dolls. 
Okay, those boxes are not breakable. Ooh, we got another one of these. Let's open it up and find out. Ooh, assault rifle scope. Nice. That's a cool scope, my friends. Ooh, look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, weird. Gives me a little bit of something to look at. Assault rifle ammo, always needed. I don't remember the code for this. Where was that code written? Darn it, I don't remember. We must find it soon. Oh dear, Lord. Yeah, that was, uh, that was gross. Hmm. It looks like Leon hasn't been here yet. Well, duh. What's this? September 20 arrest report. Rodney Gray, unemployed, former electrician. Charges unlawful creation and possession of explosives. Narrative. Suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point, questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from Suspect. Once questioning was resumed, Suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpses attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming. Soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative administered. Note, due to sub-suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We're currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect's person and residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Explosive and battery. I wonder if we're going to use another explosive and battery, or if it's the one they're referring to that we found in Resident Evil 2. You know what I mean? Hmm. Well, uh, oh, safe. Yep, I don't know what the safe is. I don't know what the lock is. And I'm pretty sure this is a dead end anyway. Oh, what's this? Ooh, red herb. Ooh, more bullets. Always good to explore a little bit. Pick up the remaining needs. Okay. And that is a complete dead end as well, because I do not have any of the keys. Any of the special keys, anyway. Okay, let's move into the next room. Let's go into this one. Oh, man. I don't, oh, I don't have a lockpick or anything, or a key. 
Lame. That's where the shotgun is, man. Oh my god, you're just standing there. God, he's just so quietly just standing there. <laughs> what the hell? Not cool, dude. Not cool. These paintings are creepy. I don't recall looking at them before. Does the safe room work here? It should. Sweet. It's so weird the overlapping this game has. And it's cool, especially if you've played the previous one. Internal memo. West office, first floor. Office supply, internal relocation notice. Heat resistant, three, number combination safe, move from star's office to west office. The combo is nine fifteen seven. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. Nine fifteen seven. I heard growling and thought maybe there was a guy in here. All right. Well, you know what to do. Saving that game. Um, let us combine and let us store until further need. Um, gotta keep the bullets and everything. I really, uh, I'm gonna store the knife because I'm just, you know, I don't want to deal with it. <sighs> All right, is there anything else I can get in this before going upstairs? What do we got here? If cameras kill those things, I'd be set. <laughs> Just a general observation. Hmm. Alright. Well, time to go upstairs, boys and girls. And see what we shall see. Yeah, I need to be back. Waltz past you for a little bit. I know you'll get back up again. You guys like to do that sort of thing. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. We are on the second floor. Is there anything in the bathroom this time around? Oh. Oh, this is the locker before it got damaged. Oh. What's in here? Note to a friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it. Please. While you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake t last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down, so I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out what you must not, not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. P.S. Don't worry about the 600 bucks I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Well, that was sad. Break the shower room wall. This is the guy that's alive, I think. C A P. Woohoo! I remember that from before. Another flash grenade. Woohoo! Anything else? Nope, 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 nope. Ooh, green herb. Always a necessity. You know what? Let's let's see what we see. Let's find out what comes out of here. Better not. <laughs> nice. That's funny. Yeah, save it for Claire or Leon. You know. So here's this, and we need okay. a, a battery. Yes, we'll be doing this the explody way. I mean, it'd be cool if I could just do this. I 
I mean, you would think that a few bullets into a brick of plastic would set it off, right? I mean, I guess I'll take a quick peek upstairs. I'm a little nerve-wracked, my friends. Hey, we found a fancy key. And a guy that's probably gonna get up. Ooh. Ooh, this wall has not been blown up yet. Interesting. Ah, dang it, that's why I... Oh, shoot. Probably woke the corpse up. Nope. Not yet, anyway. I don't know if it's the same thing. I'm just going out on a limb here. Nope. I don't know what that one's supposed to be. Well, I got the key. So I guess I just make my way back down. God dang it! I knew it was coming. I, l I looked right at it. You know what I mean? I watched. I saw him coming. I ran past him knowing that would happen. <sighs> and I still freaked out. <gasps> no herbs. I know. I'm checking all the same places that I would have in the previous game. Crazy. Oh. No, oh my god. Dang it. I know they're defeatable, they just... <sighs> Man. Okay, you know what? In case he is still alive... I'm gonna save my game. Save the game. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Take a nice little pause here, a nice little breather. This is going to wrap up part six. Whew. Yeah, we just took out that sucker. Oh, he stopped breathing. He was like literally breathing. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> hit subscribe. Keep up to date with all our playthroughs. And um, as always, my nerdy friends, I will see you on the other side.